Getting no book sales sucks. Many of the book gurus will tell you, just run ads to them and that will fix everything. Well, I'm gonna tell you here and now, that's garbage and I'll tell you why. So shut down any ads that you're running and get ready for the dirty truth. Hey, Bright Riders, Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Smash that little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out a new video. Okay, so Facebook and Amazon are probably going to hate me right now. And to be honest, I don't care. It's time that you know the truth when it comes to getting more book sales. I had a viewer reach out to me frustrated about getting no book sales and was ready to run ads and other book promotions. The truth is, is, chances are running Amazon ads, running Facebook ads, running any kind of ad is not gonna help get more book sales unless everything else is dialed in. So before you spend one more penny on ads, I want you to get in and check number one, your niche. If you're in a highly competitive niche, it can be hard for your book to be seen. If you're in a niche that isn't popular, well then there's just not enough people looking for it to get the sales. And perhaps your book may not even be niched down enough. For example, if you're doing a puzzle book, if you're doing a generic puzzle book, that niche is so broad, your book's just gonna get buried. As opposed to if you're doing a puzzle book for golfers, for example, that's a lot more niche down and you have a much better chance of being seen by your target audience. Number two, you need to check your book cover. I know it's hard to hear that your baby might not be the best looking baby in the world, but if you want to get more book sales, you have to be honest. Not only does your cover have to catch your reader's eye at a thumbnail size, but while they're scrolling down the Amazon page, it really needs to pop. If your cover looks plain, if it's hard to read, it may be perfect, but if it doesn't really fit that particular genre, chances are your customer will likely just skip right over it and move on to the next one. Number three, your keywords. While your keywords will not guarantee you sales, regardless of what anybody might tell you, what they can do is help you and your book gain visibility to get your book seen by more readers. Now, making sure that you're using keywords that have a decent search volume, but not a lot of competition, can really help your book gain exposure. For example, since for some reason I'm stuck on this whole golf topic, we'll stick with that. Keywords like golf book, it's just too broad. You're just, again, gonna get buried in the sea of books that are on Amazon. While something like golf book for amateurs is a much more dialed in keyword. While there may be less people searching for it, the ones that do search for it, your book is gonna to rise towards the top. It's a lot better to be a big fish in a small pond than a small fish in a big pond. Number four, you got to check out that book description. Your book description is really your final chance to get that sale, close that deal. Think of it less of a book synopsis and more of your sales page. Show the customer why they need your book. What's in it for them? What will they gain or learn from buying your book as opposed to the competition? Again, less about you and more about them. They want to know that the page that they're on, the book that they're looking at, this is what's gonna help them. Whether they're looking for entertainment in fiction, they're looking for a puzzle to do or something like that, or they're looking for help with a nonfiction book. Whatever the reason, your book description should sell them on the fact that your book is the one for them. Don't bother looking anywhere else, you've found your book. Number five, you gotta check out that price. Believe it or not, it's actually possible to charge too little for a book. I know so many people just, an ebook, 99 cents or whatever. If your book is too cheap, people may think of it as poor quality. Conversely, if it's too expensive, well, then they may not find it worth the value. An easy way to address this and find out that sweet spot for your book is to see what your competitors are charging. Go into Amazon, search up your niche, maybe search up a specific keyword that you're looking for that pertains to your book and see what your competition is doing. Check out the first 10, 20 books and the length of the book and how much they're charging. And that will give you a really good idea of the kind of the sweet spot that your customers are used to. A small side note, this only helps if the competition that you're looking at is actually getting sales. So you wanna make sure they're getting sales by checking out their BSR before you even bother looking at the price that they're charging. Again, if they're getting sales and they're getting a decent amount of sales based on their BSR rank on Amazon, then you know 
people are willing to pay that price for that size book. And again, that gives you an idea of how you can dial in your own price. And number six, now it's time to talk about your interior. That's right, the inside of your book. What really is the meat and potatoes of your book and what your customer is going to get. When people check out the book inside feature, what are they seeing? Is the interior good quality? More importantly, is it a good or better quality than your competition? How much of the interior are they seeing? If they're only getting a glimpse of your title page and maybe your copyright page, then you may want to ask KDP or whatever platform you're using to increase the number of pages shown on the look inside feature. Yeah, you really can do that. Truth is, yes, ads can help you sell more books, but only if everything else is dialed in just right. There's no use in throwing your hard-earned money at a book that isn't quite ready for it. Being honest about issues with your book is hard. Trust me, I know. Again, it's hard to hear that your baby might not be the best-looking baby in the world. But I promise you that if it results in a better product, it'll be well worth the bruised ego that you may end up having. Now, if you'd like to see these points in practice, I actually did an Amazon sales page review a little while ago where I went on a couple book sales page and I pointed out issues that I saw and made some suggestions on how to dial things in a bit to help get more book sales. Just click on this video right here and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Or you can check out this video that YouTube says you gotta see. I'll catch you in the next video and remember to write right.